Howdy, howdy, this is Steve Potter. We're back playing World of Goo. We finished Chapter 1, The Goo-Filled Hills. And we finished Chapter 2, Little Miss World of Goo. So now it's on to Chapter 3, Cog in the Machine. It's winter. So much more dreary aspect. Burning Man. And of course, this is going to introduce another type of uh, goo ball. Notice we've got a different appearance here. Uh, you've got these brown and red aspects to it. I've got this shape here. Hmm. This whole, whole island is a factory. It appears they are doing outsource work for World of Goo Corporation. Probably building some kind of new high tech product way over here on the other side of the world. But where's the pipe? Looks like that guy's giant head is in the way. Possibly the result of poor local management. Out with the old in with the new, that's what I always say. The sign painter's management supervisor. Okay, so I need to find a way to get his head out of the way, because we can see the pipe here, but I can't get these down to there. And notice again, these are the goo balls that I can't click on. The only thing I can really click here are the balloons. So I've got these red goo balls here and I need to try and build, build some type, type of structure with them. And, and there was a sign down, down here as well, which says the fire flickers with, with possibilities. I wonder what happens if you get, get a little closer. The, the sign painter. And so what I, what I need to do is I need, need to get these balls down here. Oh, that's right. I've got the whistle. I can make them come down here. It makes my life much easier. The reason they're all flowing towards the top is because that's where the pipe is. So what I need to do... No. Let's not kill him. So I need to get these goo balls closer to this fire. So let's go ahead and do that then. The question is, how close can I I get Can I get closer? There we go. And notice what's happening is that these are really matches. Uh, so the uh, the goo balls are the phosphorus parts and their paths are burning. And that's going to make the head drop so that I can access this pipe. And of course, it's going to drop down to these glowing parts, which are your bombs, which will blow up the head. And we'll see more of this bomb stuff going on as the uh, game progresses. So what I need to do now 
is I need to get these goo balls over to this pipe. And again, remember I can't click on any of these, but that gets us going. <clears throat> so we've um, we've talk talked a little bit about polymorphism, the idea that these objects uh, uh, kind of extend each other. So you've got goo, goo balls, and you've got goo balls that are clickable, and then you've got goo balls that are uh, uh, clickable and removable, and all these things kind of extend from the basic goo balls, or kind of like goo balls plus. And that's the main idea of, of uh, polymorphism. And the idea that these are all, all goo balls, but they all behave a little bit differently. Uh, the, the other thing we, we talk about is, is inheritance, and, and they inherit properties. Uh, So the thing is, I've got the goo balls that I can... And this is interesting. I've got the goo balls that I can and click and drag, and that's a property that they all inherit from some basic click and drag blue goo ball, probably the black one. Um, but they have additional things. Things on top of it. Let's read what Mr. Sign Painter has to say. More mysterious pipes appeared up in the sky. What are they building in this factory? There is a rumor. Everything changes in Chapter 4. Whatever that means. The intrepid Sign Painter. So what I know Notice here is that I've got these matches, but then I've also got these white, these albino goo balls that we remember from chapter one and that we used a little bit at the end of chapter two. And here's my fire, and also here's my pipe. So I need to find some way to bring down the house, I guess. I know that these red goo balls are flammable. But I guess a better question is what, what isn't flammable? Because if I, if I bring this down to if I bring this down into the flame, they're all going to die. No, don't die. Okay, and this falls down. And notice that these red goo balls that I had also made it in here, even though they were on fire, they still count towards my total. So it's all good. And so what I've learned in this lesson is that, that although the matchsticks are burnable, the uh, the white albino goo is not, not burnable. And that's going to be important in later stages. Zebra. 
product coming soon. Love how the soon is in quotation marks. Interesting. And so now we've got a pipe again. We're getting we're splitting. So let's go ahead and do Misty's Long Bony Road. A love story. Well, this looks dangerous, and that looks deadly. And he looks very, very familiar. This looks a lot, lot like the frog that I had before with the balloons. I just don't have balloons anymore. And I only have the spikes now at the bottom because, you know, no balloons. So I don't have to worry about the top. Let's see what Mr. Sign Painter has to say. On a far away hill, Fisty, he thought he saw someone. He waved and hoped one day they could be friends. Oh, look! look a new species of goo-ball. It's not immediately clear if they're alive or dead. Probably polite. We pretend we don't notice the sign painter. And one of the things that we'll notice is that they're able to roll along this spiked corridor. And that means that these are probably going to be able to be not so uh, dangerous. So let's go ahead and uh, Start building a path. Notice again, I've got the mixture of the goo balls, the clickable and the not, not clickable, or selectable and not, not selectable, if you want to call it that. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and start building a brit. No! No! Uh, go back in time. And I can put that down. And then I'll just go ahead and start extending again. I really really would like to have these over here, not hiding over there. Nope, let's, uh, there we go. And so I'm using the same notion every, every time that I'm going to build up. And then once I build up, I can continue to kind of go over. Nice stuff. Cool. Quite a bit of ways to go, but I do wonder if I were to get rid of that. Basically, now I've got another uh, thing, so I have the ability to kind of recycle these. Bony ones. So all I need to do now is just make it 
over to the pipe. Maybe, kind of, sort of. Yeah, that doesn't look bode well. So let's go ahead and can I take that away and build it over here? And there we are. So let's whistle to bring the goo ball over. Awesome. Now the other thing is that I can take some of these goo balls and they actually count towards my total. This last good ball, I think. Nope. Okay. Oh, close enough. I love how these huge bony ones show up down here. So again, we're seeing all these different classes of goo, goo ball, all these different categories of goo balls that behave differently. The third wheel. Hey, look over there. Well, That certainly looks innocuous enough. A horrible new species of goo ball. It's the most vile of all. They are extremely rare, and as a result, have become quite lonely. I think I read somewhere that where they go attach to other goo balls, they sprout dozens of love spikes that can can grab onto almost any surface and won't let go. The other goo balls try to avoid eye contact. The sign painter. So, this is interesting. I'm going to go ahead and uh, build up a bridge and get Mr. Yellow and he does connect. So I've got this wheel here. <clears throat> and then I can get onto this wheel. Oh, oh look, some people are sleeping. There's a sign in the prettiest ones are always the deadliest, where thorns are filled with poison and contempt, the deadly sign painter. Hmm. Don't see any thorn. Oh, yeah, she does have some thorns. But remember, these bonies are going to protect us from thorns. Ideally. No, 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 stop, stop, wait, cease to assist. Uh, oh, let's go back. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? Okay, well, let's do it this way then. Get 
crushed already? Let's be careful then. I want to make sure I don't... Uh, then. So I kind of have to keep going until I wake up these bonies. Okay. So I've got both the bonies. I got all these, and I just need to reestablish myself. So let's go ahead and do that then. So let's. Yeah, warning. I know. Okay, so let's just redo things. No harm, no foul. Everyone's still alive. No. Don't need him on yet. Now, now let's do this. We have Senor Boney over here. <clears throat> so what I'm going to have to do is when I get close enough to that, that third wheel. Huh. Third wheel. Get, get it? No. Stop. Ah. Uh, This just isn't boating well at all, is it? Alright, right. let's do, do this. Come on. There we go. Love spikes. Seriously. Pick her up. Yes. Excellent. All right. So let's try this once more with feeling. Forgive my, my ineptitude. Oh. Uh -huh. No. Okay. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, so, so now I'm going to, there we go. And then the 
question is, you know, how do I get them to stick on here? Well, these things don't have spikes. So he can actually stick on those things as long as I put some bony knees down to protect things. So we'll stick them in there. And the bony should keep things relatively safe. Relatively safe. Yeah, that's the opposite of safe. Uh, um, still the opposite of safe. Always nice to go back, back in time. Let's do this again. Okay, there. And there. And there. Maybe. There, there we go. Everyone falls down. And then we, we just make, make a little st structure here. here. And suck everyone in, except for, for the yellow one. Apparently, he doesn't get to go. I wonder if I can get. No, he doesn't even count as a structure then so oh well <clears throat> that was useless and pedantic and boring I apologize for that maybe we'll have a little bit more success in the rest of these levels Waterlock. Eureka. Okay. These look like dogs, I guess. I don't know. Is there a sign? Ah, oh, the sign. Glorf. The sign painter is sinking. Interesting. My pipe's up here, so I need to find some way to get this up here. So I need to get all of these. Ooh, ooh there's... Be, be careful. Cl clear cookies one hour before swimming. Mom, mom knows what's best. Okay. So let's try and get these, these guys uh, to join up. Okay. 
There we go. So we got them all now. And we have this yellow thing here. No. no. Seriously. Is it going to stick to something? Maybe. There we go. So what's going to happen is this is going to go down, but remember the goo balls float, except for this yellow one. So when it's sufficiently above, I can release. I got four of them. That's that's beautiful. Let's continue to try this. Everyone's coming down there, so when I get close enough, excellent. Everyone up and so we'll try again getting everyone down at the bottom. Just need to get everything to bounce up. It's such fun. good enough for now. I don't need no CD. Alright, so plus five goo balls, and we can continue. That's the end of that path, so let's do, do Super Fuse Challenge time. Everyone's a winner, asterisk. Uh-oh. That looks unhealthy. Looks like a race. What does the sign painter have to say? They can do this the easy way or the hard way. Either way, everyone's a winner, according to recent online polls. But some winners are bigger than other winners. So the Statistically fantastic sign painter. All right, let's let's pretend to build.
is a race after all. So I might as well try and get all of these. trying. Are there more? Are there more? Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Oh, I guess the fire is here. Something's happening. There we go. Get them down. I guess that is time at this point. Probably all we're going to get. But that was fun. Get to watch everyone explode like uh, firecrackers. The thing is, I end up with all these goo balls at the end, but without a structure to attach to do, they're useless. Notice that every level always starts with some type of structure that we can attach to. Alright, upper shaft. Strategic demolition. Interesting. So let's see. Any signs? These walls look weak, but maybe it's because I've been working out. I'm so firmed and well toned. 35 minutes of cardio, then upper torso, and abs. It's really hot in here, especially down that way. Things aren't any explosive nearby, the sign painter. He says, and that just looks a lot like a mine. And I've got these green ivy goo balls. And I remember that they are removable. Hey! That might actually be helpful. Because that makes things longer. Maybe that will help. Let me get my, my bomb down there. My bomb diggity. So let's see. Is my bomb still not... Still not... A, what? No. Don't die. Ah. Probably needed that 
do. Can I, can I use a time bug? Go back into time. Pull you out. And then pull you back. Pull you out. Put you there. Pull you out. Put you there. Are almost in position. And pull you out. Interesting. So now that's in position. So let's go ahead and. I'm curious. I could probably save some of these guys. Pretty sure I don't need all of them to set this fire. It'd be nice if I could keep some for posterity. Pipe, you know, whatever works. <clears throat> so let's go down and oops, time button, please. Go down and down. Grab you, Mr. Matchstick. And do I have any other volunteers? Maybe need one more. There we go. Because to be, be quite honest, the greens are a bit, bit more valuable to me. Can I do this? That's not going to help. But I can take this no, do not separate that. But I can take, take this. And now, are you Mr. Red? And then, where's that other green I had floating around? And I can pull you down. And, and the idea is that I, I can use, use this as some type of bridge across to who died. 
died? Someone died. That's not helpful. The idea is that if I can continuously connect it, then I can make my life a little bit easier. Basically, I'll have, have a counterbalance down here. What kind of factory designer would put deadly spikes over all the walls? If only there was something to grab onto. The sign painter is dangling over the fire like a spider. And of course, that was the clue that I need to use these. What? What the? the? Let, let's fire our bug back, back in time. That just, just was not helpful at all. Let's just work good enough there. I have a feeling if I do anything to separate this, this will just die. Or maybe not. I can take these off one at a time. Certainly makes life nicer if I can. We do this. Teapot, goo ball, fairy, fairy shuffling service at your service. All right. Well, 25 is not bad. Still want to know what that crazy business was that got things. I'll wiggle bleed up. <sighs> All right. So now that I've uh, joined up both of these forks here. I have this level. You, you have to explode the head, which will t take us just a couple more levels t to finish up. So I think this is good enough, uh, good enough uh, stopping point for this time. So we'll continue to work, work on uh, chapter three in the next video. So once again, this is Teapot. Thanks for watching.
Have a great day.